Good afternoon, hello and welcome back guys to another video on my channel. So as you can see on the screen now, I have launched Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but I have been VAC banned. VAC stands for Valve Anti-Cheat, and that is the system that Valve use in their games such as Team Fortress 2 and Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit into Workshop Map, and I'm going to hop into a game quickly uh, with some medium bots, and that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to talk. This is pre-recorded by the way. So um, I'm just talking to you after the event, I'm watching the video as I go. Um, so hopefully that goes okay. So anyway, I have been vac banned. This happened about a month ago. So it's been a while, and it's it's really annoying me now because I cannot use CSGO, essentially, is what I'm telling you. Um, later on in the video, though, I will tell you how you can still play CSGO if you're vac banned. That's why it's part of the title of this video. I'm going to tell you that later. I'm going to tell you my story first. Okay, so when I logged on to CSGO about a month ago, I was VAC banned, and it told me on the screen that I had cheated, and I didn't have a clue how this worked, because I've never cheated, I would never cheat, I've successfully re reported cheaters in the actual game, so I don't know why I would cheat, and I haven't. I've had CSGO since February the 1st, and um, I've played a fair few hundred of hours on this game since then, and um, now I can't play it, and I was really, really annoyed. So I looked it up, I went on Google, and I said, well, how, why do you get a vac... This bit's laggy, by the way, because um, it's just loading up the game. But um, how do you get vac banned, you may ask. And I asked that question as well. So I went on the internet, and um, what I found out was that vac bans can only be triggered in one way. And that's if the Valve anti-cheat system, the vac system, um, because it runs regular, like, non-intrusive scans on your computer, and um, for, to, to look for cheats, it, it looks for modified game files. And um, apparently... That's what they did, because that's the only way a VAC ban can be triggered, if a VAC scan reveals hacks on your computer. So, by getting VAC ban, what they've told me is that I'm hacking, and I've got cheats installed on my computer. Now, I can assure you guys that that is not true. I have never had hacks, I never would have hacks, there's no point, there's no benefit to me having hacks. I've got skins that amount to about £30, so there's no point in me hacking. So... I um I looked naturally for the way to appeal it because I know in my heart of hearts that I have not hacked, I wouldn't hack, so let me appeal it, let me get it removed. So the first place I went naturally was Steam support um to look for the for, to look for the um answer and all I got was that I got a, I, I found a message on the official Steam forum saying that vac bans are non-negotiable and cannot be removed by Steam support. So naturally I just contacted Steam support because so I was like, well this isn't fair. I've now got no use to, of my game, I cannot play it, because I've been vac banned. So I contacted Steam Support, I got a great guy called Jeffrey on the other end, on the ticket system, which is really not that great to be honest, the ticket system is poor. I asked Jeffrey, is there any way I can get this removed, because it's not fair, I can provide evidence of me not hacking, I mean, I, although, in all fairness, if I hadn't recorded any evidence, I wouldn't have recorded any evidence of me hacking anyway, so that's kind of not fair, but... If I um I try I could have provided evidence to him and he said no there's no way Steam Squad can remove it and I said well can you tell me can you tell me somebody who can help me then is there anybody who can remove this VAT ban from my account or have or manually review it because it's obvious that this is an automatic ban that somebody hasn't done but it's like a system that's just been done automatically so um, he told me no there's 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 nothing I can do there's no one I can turn to there's no one I can email there's nobody I can <laughs> there's nothing. So, um, I left quite disheartened, and I, um, actually, in my frustration, I submitted another support ticket, uh, under a slightly different category, but it's still relevant, um, to try and, uh, try and get somebody else to get their opinion on it, because Jeffrey wasn't exactly helpful. And what do you know? Who do I get assigned again? It's Jeffrey. It's Jeff. It's Jeffrey again. Tech Jeffrey. Thanks a bunch, pal. And he opens, and I open his ticket, and I say, hi, it's you again, I see. Can I, is it, okay. I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't realise I'd get you again, but is there anything you can do? He's like, if you if you have an unrelated issue, I will be happy to help you further. N no, no, Jeffrey, that's not that's not helpful. So um, I gave up on Steam Support Ticket, because it seems like whatever category I file it under, I'm going to get Tech Jeffrey on the other end. Which, And I tell you, don't want Tech Jeffrey on the end of your Steam Support message ticket, because he will not help you. But regardless, Tech Jeffrey, I gave up on Steam Support. I gave up on Jeffrey, I gave up on Steam Support. So, I, w I, I browse the internet for a long, long, long time. And I don't have any contacts at Valve, because most people don't. So, there's nobody I could ring, there's nobody I could phone. I went onto the Valve website, to see if I can contact them about the game. No, the only way you can contact Valve about one of Valve's games is through the Steam support ticket. So, that was useless. 
The only thing I did find on an official Steam forum was an email address to Valve. And it was um, vacreview at valvesoftware.com. And that was an email address. And supposedly, supposedly it went straight to the Valve Anti-Cheat review team. Or not review team, it just went to the Valve Anti-Cheat team. And I thought to myself, you know what, that's a great idea. If I just email them, provide them all the details, and ask them to have a review of my account, then... Um, then I, you never know, I might get somewhere. And I was told on the website where I found the email that VAC always reads all of their emails. So I emailed them. N not, not once, n not twice, but like three or four times. And this was over a period of about two, three weeks. So, and I emailed them again today just to make, just, just see if I can get anything. But I've had no reply so far. I haven't had anything we got from Valve, that, that email address. I don't think they can, I don't think they choose to remove VAC bands. So, um, not, that's not helping either. That's not my next port of call was um was to to see how they do get removed because they can get removed, and um, I was very interested to see how because I had no luck so far. So I went onto the Steam official forums and I found um, a, a claim that uh, VAC regularly something along the lines of VAC regularly audits existing VAC bands on record to test for their accuracy. Now what that means in standard everyday English is that VAC automatically check all the VAC bands that they've got and see if they're all properly done. See if they're all accurate. And supposedly they remove, they remove the VAC bands that aren't accurate. Now I found a similar quote to this which was along the lines of VAC bands will be automatically removed if they are found to have been issued incorrectly. It means the same thing again. Automatically removed if they're incorrectly. Now I want to know how often VAC reviews these VAC bands because it's been a month now I still haven't hacked, still haven't installed cheats on my computer but it doesn't work my VAC van has not been removed, it is still in place I've got 40 pounds of skins, 30 or 40 pounds of skins overall, like in total, no no, 30 pounds of skins and the 12 pound game that I've now lost essentially so not only have Valve taken my game, they've also taken my money because I cannot transfer my skins, I'm not allowed to sell them on the market I'm not allowed to transfer them to another account I can't do anything with my skins so they've taken my money, they've taken my game and I cannot appeal to them in any single form and it's very annoying at this point now I want to know how can I contact Valve, how can I appeal this ban and it's unfair and how often do they check, check the bans that they have because it hasn't, it's been a month now, it hasn't been removed yet on mine, and I'm obviously an incorrect fact And this is what I said, I suspect in the comments, anyone who watches this who's a bit of a, a bit of a pessimist, they'll go, oh, you were hacking, there's nothing you can do about it, stop making excuses, I wasn't hacking. I even looked for programs that might even be construed as hacking in my, on my computer, and I found nothing. I, I want the details of my VAC ban. No, because apparently releasing the details of each individual VAC ban may, may or may not help cheat developers, because I'm a real cheat developer, I am. How that makes sense, I don't know. I mean, I can kind of understand that, but I'm, then again, I'm not a cheat developer, so I don't really understand it at the same time. I kind of understand why there's no appeal process. The reason is because VAC and VAC bans are usually issued correctly, and 95% of VAC bans are correct and they are banning hackers who have hacks on their computer and blah de blah however there are the five percent who don't and are back banned incorrectly and there's not much we can do about it because because they have full confidence in their system and i found a quote on the steam forum saying VAC ban will not be issued unless you have hacked and that means that literally you will not be VAC banned unless you have hacked which i know to be false but there's no appeal process, which is more than unfortunate. But, um, I want to know how often they check their Vacmans, and that's very important to me, because I don't have the first clue. I want to know when my VAC ban, or even that, if my VAC ban, will be removed, because it's quite obvious to anyone who would ever watch me that I haven't hacked, and anyone who knows me in real life, you know that I wouldn't hack. I've got more time, I haven't got enough time for hacking, I have, I've got better stuff to do in my life. If I want to play a bit of CSGO competitive, then that's something that I want to do. And I can't be bothered to hack because I, I'm not that good, but I've no need for hacks. That's useless to me. So as we come, as we draw to the end of this game now, um, I'm just kind of sum up the first story part of my um, 
video that at the end of the day, A, I was banned for no reason, B, I can't find the program which would have triggered this VAC ban, C, it's impossible for a VAC ban to be initiated by an Overwatch investigator, so don't tell me that my plays may have looked dodgy, because it's nothing to do with Overwatch, my case would have never gone through Overwatch, it would have just gone through VAC. And four, how, how, I, how can I contact Valve? Five, when do they regularly audit their existing bans? And six, how can I get my money back? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't seem like I can do it. So, it's weird, we've got about a minute left on this game, and, um, and after that minute's done, you can see my score in this game, which actually is relatively impressive. These are regular bots, so it wasn't that hard, but it's an A map, so um, I have a, a, a fair few kills in the ten minutes. And um, then I'll move on to the second part of this video, which is to uh, show you how you can still make some limited use of your game if you have been VAC banned. Whether it be fairly, whether it be unfairly, there are ways that you can use it, but it's still limited. You can't go online. There's nothing you can do regarding VAC secure servers. You can't do offline with bots, usually. But, um... Without the method I'm going to show you, you can't do anything. You can't do a private server. Here we are, 115 in 23 was the um, uh, KD that I got, which is relatively impressive. However, it's only against private bots. But 115 kills, that's what? 10 minutes, more than 10 kills a minute, I suppose. Not that bad, but I'm going to um, move on to the second part of my video, how you can use CSGO when you've been backbound. Thank you very much for listening to this part of the video, and I'll uh, see you in a minute.